Guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have waived wide receiver Cyril Grayson from their team. This move comes after the recent signing of outside edge rushing linebacker Jannard Avery to the team. The Bucs had to get rid of a player so that Avery could officially sign onto the roster, and that player was Cyril Grayson. And I know there will be some people who are shocked or surprised by this news, but Grayson is just another one of those situations of being a victim of circumstances. The Buccaneers have a very, very deep wide receiver room. You have undrafted rookie free agents, Devin Tompkins, Jared Stearns, Kalen Geiger, who have all been doing some very good things throughout the preseason. You have, you know, second, third year wide receivers, guys like Tyler Johnson, Jalen Darden, Scotty Miller. They've been all doing some interesting things, especially in the case of uh, Tyler Johnson, more so than most of these wide receivers on this list. And you also have established a veteran like Brashad. Rashad Perriman, who just came back, started practicing recently. He has a decent chance to make the roster as well. You know, I know that Grayson had a lot of fans out there in the Buccaneers fan base, the Buccaneers community, but... You know, there's just so, so many good wide receivers. One of these guys or a handful of these guys who are very good at the position are going to get released due to how deep the Buccaneers wide receiver room is. Grayson was just one of those guys who was one of the first out of the bigger names, I guess you could say, who got released in this very deep wide receiver battle that is going on right now. If Grayson doesn't sign with another team, I believe right now the Buccaneers are going to have to reach an injury settlement with him. It was waived slash injured, so they have to reach an injury settlement with Grayson. I believe that means that he cannot sign with the team for three weeks, at least according to Greg Allman of The Athletic. So, uh, you know, if Grayson doesn't latch on with another team, maybe he could come back to the Buccaneers practice squad. That could be a very uh, legitimate option moving forward. We'll have to wait and see what the updates are on that and whatnot. But, you know, again, Grayson, hey, wish him nothing but the best. He was very serviceable for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in his couple of seasons that he was here. Helped the team win a Super Bowl and uh, filled in very well for the Bucs when they needed him to at the wide receiver position. So all in all, again, you know, this one does hurt a little bit, but we'll see where Grayson goes. We'll see what his future holds, not just for his potential role in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers moving forward, but also maybe on the practice squad, maybe with another team as well. Let's all just see what happens with Grayson here. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in a opinions down in the comment section below. I would love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.